Triathlon, 140 miles of you, just you, blood, sweat, heart. Stand by the finish line of a triathlon and you may have to pick your jaw off the ground. Despite their exhaustion, a lot of competitors cross the finish line beaming, vibrant, seemingly high on their own accomplishment. In direct contrast to the high derived from a drug or a drink, that addiction is defined in psychological terms as an uncontrollable compulsion to repeat a behavior regardless of the consequences. To know both highs makes you lucky and unlucky, wise and forever racing. Tom Rinaldi and a man named Todd Crandall. In every race, the water cleanses him. The bike carries him. The road delivers him. Far from the life he once led. 2.4 miles in the deep lake waters. 112 miles beside the alpine slopes. 26.2 miles through ancient city streets. I'm feeling better. Iron Man Austria. And of all the competitors this day striving across an historic landscape, Todd Crandall, the tattooed 40-year-old from Ohio, has already covered much greater ground than most. The same tenacity that I put into destroying myself, I just needed to switch it and put it into repairing myself. The destruction that needed so much repair in Todd Crandall's life began early. When he was just three years old, his mother Louise, struggling with drug addiction, committed suicide. For Todd, her death left scars that only spread with time. Her leaving me just caused this big gaping wound in me and I didn't understand emotionally why I was the way I was. I wanted to know why I hated myself so much, why I felt I wasn't good enough. I seen a good deal of him, believed that he in some way was partially, if, if not totally, to blame for what she had done. To ease that pain, Crandall began drinking at 13. Three years later, he tried cocaine. The moment changed his life forever. I snorted a couple grams of cocaine in the school parking lot. And instantly, and I mean instantly, when I did that first line, I was like, that's what I've been looking for. By the time Crandall was a senior in high school and one of the best hockey players in Ohio, addiction began destroying his dreams on the rink and everywhere else. He played a game on cocaine and got caught doing cocaine on the school bus driving up to Jackson, Michigan. Not only did I kick him off a hockey team, but I just ended a relationship um, with a player that I've had a relationship with maybe for five or six years as a coach. So began a decade-long descent through liquor and cocaine, crack and heroin, jail, homelessness and despair ultimately led to thoughts of suicide. It got to the point where the difference between living and dying to me was non-existent. And I was like, I know that my destiny is to end up the way my mom did. When am I going to get there? In 1991, Terry Crandall confronted his son. Get to rehab or get out. I told my dad emphatically, yeah, I'll go to, I'll go to rehab but I'm not going until I'm done doing this cocaine. And if you think of taking this cocaine from me, I'll f***ing kill you, is exactly what I said to my own dad. And my dad sat there for six to eight hours, like we're having this conversation today with tears running down his face, talking to me about what it's going to be like when I'm dead. In every race, in every stage, there is a turning point for Crandall. I forgot how hard these things are, man. Oh my God. Where he can surrender to the pain. I'm tired. Or persist through it. Iron Man Austria is no different. I hope I can keep running. Each time he remembers his own turning point. It came two years after the confrontation with his father in 1993, just after his third arrest for DUI. I was drinking a beer 
roughly around noon and I distinctly remember putting that beer down and saying that's it this is over I'm gonna put my life back together we never ever gave up on Todd ever we always believed that he would reach the point where he would end this if it didn't kill him first. Crandall quit drinking and drugs cold turkey. He attended recovery meetings, enrolled in college, and began playing hockey again. But ultimately, he found his new focus in a passion as extreme as his addiction, the grueling pursuit of a triathlon. I was going to do the Ironman. No knowledge, nothing, but I was going to do that. Crandall trained for months, reshaping his body and redirecting his energy. He's never stopped. Awesome, Iron Man Austria is his 13th. And as he strains through the miles, he pushes on. As he did toward that first finish line eight years ago, November 6th, 1999. The first time he made it from addict to iron man. He was back. He was back. He made it all the way back. That's it would be simpler if the journey stopped there for Todd Crandall. In a sense, it just began. Okay, everybody, it's 7 o'clock, so uh, let's get started here. Crandall founded Racing for Recovery in 2001 as an alternative to other recovery programs. Fitness and family are cornerstones in reaching out to addicts. Like Jonathan Chang, who's battled cocaine for 16 years. So desperate for help, he moved to Ohio to join Crandall's program. He has been clean for seven and a half months and is in training for a triathlon. He's an inspiration. He really is. You know, I mean... He, a lot of things he experienced very similar to mine, and he's turned his life around, and he's doing so many good things for so many people. Providing that hope has become Crandall's new addiction. But like his old one, it's come with great emotional and financial cost. Madison, come up by us, come here. Clean and sober 14 years now, married with four children. His life revolves around Racing for Recovery's mission often above his own family. I've lost everything. Cars repossessed. House been in foreclosure three different times. I've questioned sometimes, have I done the right thing in trying to help other people? Have I lost my family? Have I sacrificed my family to help that addict? And at times, I have. Even so, he will not stop. How can you look at who I was and who I am today and not say, this is what I'm supposed to do? Coming down the last stretch past the 140th mile in Austria, Todd Crandall needs the finish line for himself and for so many others. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh, man. An addiction, perhaps, but also a mission and a purpose to keep making that journey from addict to inspiration. That's for the addict that didn't make it last night, and the one who won't make it today, right there. Right there. He's changed his addiction to a positive addiction, and he's now used it as a platform to help others. And so he has no choice. His body's going to have to fall apart out there before he'll stop. I'm thankful to have what I have, but to sit back and do nothing with it is not the answer. Anything I can ever do for you, brother, I'm really honored. The obligation and the passion that I have is to take it 
and give it back to help someone else. Tom thinks Todd Crandall gave up a white collar career to devote himself full time to racing for recovery. His work right now taking hold in Ohio and spreading. Races are scheduled in Vegas and Idaho the next two months to raise awareness and promote positive alternatives. Well, from a comeback of a lifetime to a career comeback in St. Louis, straight ahead Rick Ankiel talks about his new role as home run hero. Plus, 